Typhoon Sandong devastated the island of Mindanao in the Philippines on December the 17th, 2011. Thousands of people were declared dead and missing, and tens of thousands remain homeless without hope. The problems and risks persist as climate change adds to the strength and frequency of typhoons hitting the Philippines. Fundraiser Hugo Chittenden and his organisation The Volunteer build a water reservoir and a centre for training to cope with the latest disaster, Typhoon Sandong. Typhoon Washi happened in December of 2011. It hit the southern part of our country. More than 2,000 people died. That was our wake-up call, that something like this can happen. And this is a reminder for us that climate change does exist. Pag mag-ulan na, siyempre, amung mahunaunan mo, ragmi matroma. Uh, mahitabo o gutro, ang katong nahitabo sa sindong. Basta mo ulan na huwag ka nung kusugangin. Kami, na, kuwan man to story ako. Ito na sa ikaduhan na. Kawakay. Pagkano na mga dumamke, paglabay na mo sa... The pain and devastation experienced by these communities can never be forgotten. But the challenge for the people of the Philippines is to rebuild their lives. This water system will benefit them as during summer, they will come here for their vegetables, gardening, for their household needs. This project is funded by the Volunteer and the Oak Foundation in partnership with Christian Aid and Mukard, which aims to deliver sustainable running water. How many people will use this reservoir project? Well, I think it's about 100 households. 100 households. With the help of Christian Aid and the volunteer, uh, some funds were raised to uh, put up the disaster risk reduction and livelihood training center. We need a place where people can come together and exchange the experience of the disaster in order to bounce back in their lives. By October 2012, the center was opened. 25 villages a day now receive training, funded by Christian Aid, in how to save lives by responding promptly to future emergencies. The water reservoir continues to feed up to 100 families with fresh water. Since this film was made, the Philippines has been hit by Typhoon Bopa. Communities were better prepared, but the reality and dangers of typhoons persist in the Philippines.